Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to add 3D objects to your music video, something like this. I did it with like 3D pills, but you can actually add like any object that you want. Before getting into the actual video, I just like to make a little announcement that I just launched my new pack, which is called Essential Effects and Transition Presets. It allows you to add some crazy effects and transition, as the name says, to your music video in a click of a button. With over like 40 plus effects and transition for y'all you'll never run out of effects and in the 40 range every one of those presets are legendary but that's just not the best part as you might already know the black friday week is here so just to celebrate that i'm running buy one get one free on my site so if you buy any of the pack or even like essential effects right now you'll get another one for free of your choice i do this kind of sales like once in a year so make sure to make the most out of it because when the sale gone it will be gone for a year or so but anyways let's just get into the actual tutorial which is really cool so to start off in my timeline you can see this clip right here so we're gonna add the 3d object on but before adding the 3d object we gotta make sure we track our camera properly first so for that just go to the right side right here and hit tracker right here and just hit track camera right here and now go to the advanced and you can just hit detail analysis and let it do its thing for now uh, it will take few minutes then after your track is done you can see a whole bunch of like track points on your scene if you don't see it make sure your path visibility is on and you can just play with the size to get it to your liking and if you don't have like too many track points on a scene i recommend trying out with other footage uh, if it doesn't do it you can always lower down the contrast of footage add an unsharp marks to bring back the sharpness and then track it like pre comping it and after the track is done you can just remove it but in my case you can see our track is pretty much done you can see we have a whole bunch of track point on our background which is really cool so now we can select one of the track points on our background because background track points supposed to be like really stable most of the time so select one of those right click go to create solid and camera just hit that and it will create a solid right here track to our scene so you can actually see this solid and see if your track is done correctly or not. My one is perfectly tracked to the footage as you can see. So now you can actually hide this track solid and now we'll start adding the 3D object in here. So for the 3D object, we'll be using a plugin called Element to add 3D to add 3D object onto After Effects. It allows us to do all the replications and stuff and all that good stuff. I recommend getting this plugin. This is really dope. For sure, it is one of my like favorite plugin it is called element 3d so you can just search it up on google and see if you can find a good link but anyways right now but anyways to add the element 3d you gotta right click on blank space go to new and in solid just make a solid right here the color doesn't matter and just hit ok and you can actually rename it to like element if you like so it is like organized and stuff then selecting the solid just add element 3d in here uh, element 3d and now you can see this is the effect called element 3d so now firstly we'll select our custom layer so we can use and the 3d object actually matches our environment as well so for that you can just go to custom layers go to custom texture marks and in layer 1 just set it as your footage layer as you can see embrace your pro this is the custom layer right here make sure you're in texture map not in text and max and close this and close your custom layer now go to scene setup and it will open up these like completely new panel it is like pretty simple to use don't be scared or what you can just like drag around to like see your like 3d object in here our like preview will be here so you can just like rotate around using the right click or left click i mean and now to like import our 3d model in here just go to import and for the 3d model i'll be actually using my 3d model pack so if you don't already know i got a 3d model pack which allows you to add some insane 3d objects into your music videos it is like some ovgs and fpx that you can use with element 3d or any software like blender and stuff easily so you doesn't have to go on to site like sketchfab and stuff to get 3d models and stuff because if you might already know it is like a headache to find the perfect format matching to your like 
software because in our case element only takes like obj so on the pack i make sure to include all the like the main like all the formats that you need it comes with the obj fbx and and glb so you have all of those so i'll link it in the description you can get it on buy one get one free offer going on right now but anyways now in here we're gonna use the perk model which is like the pill so i'm gonna go over here and you can see perk obj and we're just gonna open this up just hit ok right here now hit normalize size and you can see our like pill is on the scene so this is what we want right here now as you might already remember we selected our footage as an environment so to set it as our environment of this like 3d scene we're just gonna go to environment and in basic 2k we're just gonna set it to custom layer 1 right here and after that just hit ok and it will change a bit right now but now if i hit ok and go back you can see we have the green tone on the model and if i play through actually you can see our model is also perfectly tracked to our scene but sometimes because it will be like close to the camera it can be like wiggly and stuff your model so just to fix that you can just go over to your track solid and hit P on the keyboard to bring out the position this track solid right here that we like hidden and after you open up your position just grab this like end value right here so ctrl c and go over to your element layer and now go to group one and in particle replicator in position g right here just paste it right there and you would instantly notice like your model will be a little smaller but it will be way like stable on the track which is really cool but anyways you can see we have the model right here we obviously have to rotate it but we are not gonna do it right now because we gotta like replicate our model first so for the replication all we gotta do is in group one again in particle replicator particle count just set it to like 16 so it replicates 16 times and now you can actually go to replicator fx and in scatter and in the false scatter random if i show you this scatter right here you can actually like bring up this value right here so if i bring up uh you can hold shift and keyboard and it will like uh, scatter fast so something like this and you can actually play with the scatter y x as you can see x as well or uh, x to something around here and we can instantly see now the all the pills are on our scene and it is like perfectly tracked now we can actually position it around here now actually to rotate these just go to particle look open a particle loop right here and go to a set particle rotation and in randomized rotation you can just bring it up so in force frame i like to bring it up to like 80 and hit the stopwatch in there and now as it goes you can just like make it one cycle on the force value if you put it to one it will like cycle through one cycle or so something like this as you can see you can actually go to position g and just like bring it up as you like maybe don't do this because it can like mess up your track and some but i'm just gonna do it then i'm gonna lower down the size actually because it is like too big now if you don't like all the positioning and stuff of your model you can always go to the particle replicator again and down in the last you can see an option called random seed you can just like play around with that to get like different like positioning with seeds so something like this i think this looks really hard right here yeah you can play around these to get like different positioning and all that good stuff i think our animation is also done that rotation looks really hard right there i don't think we gotta play anymore the animation so we're gonna close our group one now we can actually go to the render settings and where it says lighting right here just to do something like dramatic i think this looks really hard right here you can always like play around with it but i think this looks really hard uh you can always like play with these lighting presets according to your scene but i think i'm gonna go with these dramatic and you can always go with the physical environment and in tin you're just gonna put it like a lighter like a light like a light green to give it the green tone of our scene and now we can actually go to ambient occlusion turn that on and you can just bring up the in intensity on the ambient occlusion it will give you some shadows and stuff and then we're almost done you can do some final touching in here let me just close element right here and the thing i like to add on it is a glow for me i'm gonna use a plugin called optical glow 
but if you don't have it you can also use like a deep glow or a normal glow but for me i'm just using the optical glow just bring up the size in there and lower down the amount and in alpha channel just set it to extended almond right here and it will give you some dope glow right there it looks really hard you can actually lower it down like something like this and after that you can add like curves right here and make like an s curve uh maybe something like this give it that a bit of like contrast in there so something like there to finish it all off we're just gonna add some blur so for the blur select your background clip and add a fast box blur on a background clip firstly and hit the stopwatch on the blur radius and go over to the end of the clip and i just like to like bring it up four or five something like that so it, it like blurs out our background something like that as it goes oh uh, you can actually bring it up more to like five maybe then add a fast box blur on like your element layer as well and hit the stopwatch at blur radius put the false keyframe around the middle so somewhere around here and just bring up the blur radius right here to around like uh three or four so something like this so it is like blur out at the beginning and as it goes it is like really like comes into focus and our background glows into blur so something like there so with the blur i think we're done and our final result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this because i try to provide value on my every single video as you might already know and don't miss out the black friday offer on my packs like you can buy the new essential and get the 3d model pack for free but anyways i'ma see you on the next one peace